Still they're going for it. Than John Carbonet. John Carbonet reckons he's about 10 kilometers an hour slower than the Hondas and the Seats in his Volkswagen. Lots of work from Attila Tassi, trying to get those rear tyres working. Front wheel drive means that the front wheels do the turning, they do the power as well, and the rear wheels are just there along for the ride. And therefore, trying to get temperature into them is very, very tricky, but you need the temperature in these Michelin slips because when you throw it into that first corner, you want the rear to go where you want it to go rather than where it wants to go. Stefano Camini starts at the back of the field as well after a gear chicane. Lights are illuminating. When they go out, we are racing. Jordi Oriola creeps a little bit on the second row and a little bit of wheel spin from Harold Projek in third. It wasn't a good start, but Morbidelli's had a great start in the other West Coast Honda. He tries to find a way past Pepe Oriola, but there is no space. Jean Carbonet comfortably leads as they head down towards the chicane at turn one. Oriola's got the inside line for second. Morbidelli trying to take third position from Jordi Oriola, who goes around the outside very late on the brakes. Oh, as he managed to get through, he hops over. There's contact further back, and that's Harold Projek. We've got Peter Fullen in there, David Kajaya. Get the wheels, uh, get the suspension compressed. Here's a quick look at the rather mangled front end of the Alpha. What a shame. Safety car is coming in this lap. We're halfway through the race here. Race one in Salzburg, and we're going to get racing underway. Michaela Ciruti at the back of the field there in 12th position. We've got four cars. Oh. He's got to get himself out of the way here. He just about does so. Oriola leads the field across the line. Grashov second. Borkovic in third position. Nash, then Jean Calvinet, then Homola, Morbidelli, Kamini, Yanitz, and David Kajaya in the top 10 point scoring positions. The field all bunched together. And it's time then to get into the slipstream again. More laps added because of the laps behind the safety car. So the race is now school rule, as Mickey Truty said to me. A little bit like a very tiny Nürburgring. Very little turns in runoff area. Very fast, quite bumpy. Just two chicanes to limit the power. There is Mickey Truty's fans. They've been up there all after afternoon, all weekend, enjoying what was sunshine this morning. But the clouds are rolling in. We are about 30 kilometers outside of Salzburg as we take a look at the grid. There is Michele Ferruti basking in the wet conditions. Sadly, we will have no Alfa Romeos in the second race here in Salzburg.